Hello, my name is Nathaniel Hoover. I am a staff writer for GameCola.net, and today I'm playing Deja Vu, a point-and-click adventure game that actually should probably look a little familiar to you for some reason, if you've been paying any attention at all to the Game Cola YouTube channel. Well, that's because Paul Franzen played through the NES version, Michael Gray played through the Game Boy Advance version, and now I'm playing the Windows version! Ooh. Why on earth would you watch this one if you've already seen either one or both of the others? Well, I play adventure games a little bit differently than they do. Plus, the Windows version is a little different, like it has no music, for example. That's a reason to watch it. Good afternoon. Welcome to a nightmare come true! <laughs> you are waking from a stupor that feels like a chronic hangover. Oh, by the way, I'm not going to be reading all of the text here. I just sort of want to get us into the story, you know, get into the mood after a week in Vegas. There is a throbbing bump on the back of your head big enough to make your hat size look like an Olympic record. You notice your right palm is covered with dried blood, but you neither see nor feel any open wounds on your body. On your left forearm, you feel a sharp pain under the shirt sleeve. Rolling up the sleeve, you discover what looks like a fresh needle mark. Have I been injected with something? You wonder. Then you realize, I! Who am I? You can't remember. Hey, don't go so fast. I'm trying to read here. Yeah. <clears throat> like I said, I don't play adventure games the same way the other guys do. For example, I'm interacting with the toilet paper. Yes, I'm feeling perfectly okay. Oh, also, um, when given the option to eat or drink or taste or hit anything in a video game, I use these options. It's like the Space Quest games. You can lick stuff? Cool! I'll lick everything. So, uh, yes, I will be playing this game. I will be sort of playing by the rules. Oh, and there's a, uh, a neat option where you can clean up your inventory. I'll extol the virtues of the Windows version here in a little bit, but um, let me just finish my little tangent about uh, something. Oh, I forget now. Ow. So I'm going to be letting the text talk a little bit more than me, or at least as much as me, or at least I'll talk a little less than I usually do in these videos, just because there's a lot of stuff that's uh, interesting. Some of this is pretty funny, actually. It's a pretty well-written game. So, uh, you know, I'll be collecting items, I'll be picking stuff up, but I will definitely be examining things that uh, normally just don't get examined because they're not plot critical, and I'll be doing lots of stupid stuff. And I'm feeling dazed, so let me get out of this bathroom stall, and let's poke around the bathroom a little bit more. Blah! Ugly! Okay, not horribly ugly, but, I mean, look at those crow's feet around his eyes. Like, a parade of birds marched over him when he's sleeping. Oh, there's definitely trouble out there, let me tell you. I didn't break the mirror, but I broke my hand. Maybe I'll have better luck on the sink. Oh, it hurts. Okay, fine, I'll go out in the bathroom. Out of the bathroom. Okay, so we've got the women's bathroom, and we've got the bar. Oh, man, tough choices. Where to go? Well, because the bar advances the plot, let's go to the women's bathroom. Duh, and I look just as horrible as I do in the other bathroom mirror. And is there anything in the basket? Nope. No, I can't eat the wastebasket. But darn it, I'm going to try. I'm going to try and eat more things than I should. Hmm. We should probably clean that up. Oh, more toilet paper. <laughs> I'm gonna do it. Uh. Oh, it looks like there's... Oh, I didn't notice this. If you look at the top right corner of the toilet, there's an earring. And that is a horrible sound effect. Oh, that just... That sounds disgusting. Uh. At any rate... Moving out of the bathroom. I don't belong in the women's bathroom anyhow. Okay, dark empty bar. And, uh... And the police are on to me. Because I was in the women's bathroom when I'm clearly a man. Um, hmm. Now here's something interesting about the Windows version. You can click and drag on items, and if you can pick them up, you could actually just move them around. Like, hey, that's a better place for it. Sadly, I can't grab the window. But I can make the cup float in midair. Let's, uh, let's try and... Are the cops trying to bust me for underage drinking or something? Come on! Oh. Um. So, I'm a vegetable. Hello. And let's, uh, let's restart, you know, and not 
do for rounds so much that my mind turns to mush. I mean, heck, your mind probably turned to mush in the time it took me to get out of the bathroom. So let's, uh, let's see if alcohol will help things. No, probably not. Al alcohol, I guess, doesn't aid memory recovery. Maybe these pictures will jog my memory. Puff McMuffin? Oh, yeah, he was like the villain from Rocky V, wasn't he? I do apologize that you only have my voice to listen to and the obnoxious sound effects. Maybe I'll, you know, hum for you. You know, like the music that was in the NES version, maybe. You know. Can't eat the lamp. Can't eat the typewriter, and I can't eat the phone. I can't eat appliances at all. Do 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 do. Envelope, and okay. This looks important to the plot. I'll grab it because I like to hang on to everything. It's the first rule of adventure games: grab everything that isn't nailed down. Okay, I unlock the door, and... Oh, gross. He's still holding the telephone. He's got, like, dirty fingerprints all over it. How am I going to clean that up? I mean, there's blood on the table. Oh. Well, I'll find the safe combination later, and that face... The, something with the faces in this game. Just, I don't know. Can I take the receiver? Really? I'm struggling with a dead man to pick up an item? <laughs> Let's see what he's got on him. Or, in the desk, rather. Ooh, number two pencil. Hmm, front key. I love how they don't really label the keys very well in here. You just sort of guess on everything. And, uh, we'll... Oh, I don't know what the combination is. We'll try again later. Of course that combination doesn't work. How did I even dial? No! Am I babbling already? Wow. We're like, what, five minutes, six minutes into this video? Seven? Eight? Mm. <laughs> yeah, this is a weird room. It's a massage chair, maybe. Oh, perhaps it's a dentist chair. How naive. How naive. Clearly it's for... Um, helping you to get your pants tied when you've got... Uh, pants. I'm mumbling. That's usually a good sign that... Uh... Oh, by the way, so look, there's uh, drugs everywhere, and I'm going to continue to pick up everything that isn't nailed down. And, uh, wait a second, is that a... Oh, not Guybrush 3 put. I can't fit everything in my pants. Ha! <laughs> but I can take the trash can! Ha <laughs> ha! So let's uh, clean up this inventory a little bit. Something that is a complete departure from any of the videos I've done in the past. I have decided just to try and do this run the way my... Uh, fellow Game Cola staff members do. Ooh, a syringe. That can't possibly be bad for my health. Let's just uh, pick it up out of the trash can. We'll use it later. In a complete departure, whoa, feeling woozy. I'm just doing one continuous take for each video. I'm not editing anything together. So if I sound a lot more babbly than usual, and if everything I say isn't really funny at all, well, well, maybe that's no different than usual. But at least this time, it's because I haven't had a chance to prepare. I just sort of, I'm winging it. And you know, that's sort of how I was doing it here. Just winging it. Pressing the buttons, looking at things, seeing if there's anything interesting or funny at all to try. So, uh, hmm. That, I guess, was not... Oh, no! No! Don't! Oh, oh. Bad end. Ugh. Oh, gross. That's not a good ending. I missed the gravestone from the NES version. 